And in Fort Hood, the mood is still somber today as the community remembers the 13 who were killed November 5th. They're also honoring many of those wounded soldiers who were shot while helping their comrades mm -hmm. that day. Our Jenny Hoff spoke with a mother of one of those victims. After November 5th's deadly shootings, Fort Hood was a stop for many families this Veterans Day. With their own loved ones serving overseas, they're familiar with the heartache that comes with sudden news about a soldier. It's heartbreaking. I would have, I probably would have passed out and just cried all night. I couldn't have been one of the families. We got to move on. It's time. But Janice Armstrong was one of those who got a phone call on November 5th telling her her son had been shot. Luckily, it wasn't critical. I had to stop on the side of the road, kind of pull yourself together, you know. But, you know, you don't hear that he's okay. You hear I, he got shot. Her son, Private First Class James Armstrong, was shot while helping his friends that day in the Soldier Readiness Center. As they crawled on the floor trying to dodge bullets, he put his comrades behind him and shielded them with his body. He's got people behind him and he's guarding them. And all of these people came up to him just hugging him and talking about what a hero he was to them because they think he saved his life. And he doesn't want to be thought of as a hero. He just says, I, I just did my job. A job that isn't going unnoticed this Veterans Day. In Fort Hood, Jenny Hoff, KXAN Austin News.